How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van. I just cut myself shaving. It really sucks. <laughs> but you know what? I guess I'll get over it. I'm excited. We're going to be playing a game called We Know the Devil. It's a horror visual novel that is on Steam. Just recently got released and people have said it's very, very good. It's very interesting. People have said in the reviews that they've rethought their whole entire life after playing this, which is obvious hyperbole, but still at the same time, people wanted to get the message out there that it's very interesting. So we're gonna just start. Um, now I did start this game and played like for a few minutes, but I ended up like having a coughing fit. It was really strange. So let's just, let's just go. I, I got like three lines in. We're drenched in sunscreen and bug spray and incense. We feel gross, look gross, smell gross. We're sunburned and bug bitten and behind us is the devil. Every annoyance of summer nipping at our heels. Being in the summer scout sucks incredibly. The cabins are stuffy. The beds are gross. The food is grosser. The counselors only sing about Jesus and they won't let us have a transformation sequence. We can't wait until a week from now when the three of us are home in our beds. We won't have to think about what we do or don't deserve and we can leave cleaning up the devil to someone else. Why? I mean, you're in a religious camp, but what do you mean by cleaning up the devil? They said the devil was behind us, but why? Where are you? Are you in some... I, I, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out. Hey, tree. Hey, Jupiter. Ow! Ow! Oh my god, are you okay? Oh, totally! Uh, totally fine! Ow! I get to do voice acting and I'm excited. Are you sure? It looked so bad. Nah, <laughs> it's okay. It's so okay. it's nothing. It's okay. I'm good at reading. It literally looks like it fucking killed you. Oh, <laughs> Neptune, you're the life of the party. I totally totally promise I am still alive. Okay. Don't fall asleep with a concussion. If you do, I'm calling 911. <laughs> I won't. Do, please. Take me with you. Oh, you wanted to get a concussion. You're mean, Neptune. You're mean. Laughing off a head injury isn't all that Jupiter's good at. She has the best grades in class and coaches make her starter on whatever team has the most pressing need for someone who can do spo sports. I'm amazing at reading. She's a perfect role model except for how she always misses the winning goal and she always blanks on the last question. She leads when no one else wants to, which is always. Jupiter clutches her head. It hurts a lot. She thinks about hands gently pressing into her temples. It's a relaxing thought until she feels the texture of fingers on her scalp. It's the devil! He's coming for you! Jupiter snaps a hair tie against her wrists. Are we late already? I think we left pretty early. We've been walking for a long time though. I don't think so. Maybe... Not that long. Well, not too terribly long. I guess it's been kind of a while. We're not late already, are we? Absolutely. It's 606. Why? Oh no. I told you so. Idiot jerk face. Oh, how much longer are you in summer scouts for? What? This guy's name's Idiot Jerkface. <laughs> resting we ah, resting bitch face, but it's resting witch face. It's hilarious. Another week. You're resting witch face, Neptune. Another week FML. Fuck my life. This is the worst. I will pray everyone dies. Whoa, hey, what? Stop giving me false hope. You guys are mean, okay? You, everyone dies, it's terrible. Don't think like that about other people. Karma's gonna bite you in the ass. We're close, I'm pretty sure. We have to be. It's fine, as long as we're not the last one there, right? It is utterly assured that we they are already there because they did not have to do any of the complete bullshit we just did. I'm genuinely sorry for my horrible life. Happy hunting, Omao. Fuck you. Neptune didn't tell us because she was too busy talking with her friends. Doesn't care how much trouble we get into. Or maybe she didn't want us to worry for as long as we didn't have to worry. This background noise is making it sound like something really terrible is gonna happen. And there's like, it's weird. There's two layers of the song. There's like the piano, which is really peaceful and relaxing. And then there's the I don't even know what to think. What, is it supposed to be peaceful? Am I supposed to be like uncomfortable? And the art style makes me feel really uncomfortable. I don't know what it is. Okay, whatever. Neptune is very kind or possibly super mean and hates us. That's opposite! But that's okay. She's really funny. Neptune looks in no way like she's supposed to be here. But that's why she's here, of course. 
For a moment, she's about to say something, but it catches in her throat and she coughs instead. Oh, over there! Where? See, that light! I, I don't see anything. It's right there! <coughs> it's over here. <laughs> and there's the bonfire. We're not too late, right? Uh, Neptune, she does- oh, she's looking really disapproving. The bonfire captain! Oh my god, look at him! He's super into this religious camp. Haha, <laughs> Group West's finally here! Kinda early for you guys, huh? I didn't hear y'all swearing, did I? Oh my god. <laughs> bonfire captain, nobody likes you. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna swear just because I don't like you, bonfire captain. Shit, 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 fuck! Okay, I feel better now. <laughs> no, sir! No, sir! Nah. Haha, <laughs> sure you weren't. We promise! Oh, I believe you. I don't know about the rest, though. You believe Venus? Why? Uh, um... Venus smiles in that way that makes everyone there want to punch him a little. But that's all it takes for them to forget we were even late. Venus can smile and laugh nervously through anything, and the rest of us are invisible for as long as we can endure the second-hand embarrassment. <laughs> Sit down, everyone. Bonfire Captain throws more incense in the fire. The sticky, sickly sweet smell is the worst thing about camp. It's a terrible blend. Termite-eaten wood from abandoned churches. Dried daylilies from the sides of country roads. Singed wire from burned-out radios. Dubious apologies. Ashes of monsters of the week. Gross. Venus sits with his legs crossed, taking up as little space as he can, which is at most not very much. Neptune remains mercilessly fashionable, watching the other groups like they're the entertainment. Jupiter pulls her legs up and rests her chin on her knees. She's bad at posture, but she is good at being comfortable. She likes the security of holding her whole body. There's a perfect balance of usefulness and liability to the young for which the summer scouts are the most perfect solution. Everyone having a good time? No one is, or has as much, in or has much enthusiasm to fake it. I said, is everyone having a good time? Hey, I am. I like playing visual novel games. I am Bonfire Captain. I'm having a great time. But the captain can be motivating. Oh, God. Just stop it. I, I'm tired of saying it. I said, is everyone having a good time? I'm tired of saying it, Bonfire Captain. And doesn't quit until everyone's at least put effort into faking it. Yay. <laughs> yes? Yeah, yeah. This is bullshit. That's more like it. Still a little quiet in the West. Fuck him. <laughs> the bonfire captain picks up his guitar. Neptune doesn't even try to hide her look of pure offense. None of the counselors like to talk as much as he does. He must feel like he needs to give the sermon since he's in charge. But we know the counselors wish they were somewhere else as much as we do. You know, I wasn't the most popular when I was a kid. I got in my fair share of fights, but I had a couple of guys I was best friends with. We stuck up for each other. And you wrote a song about it, didn't ya? Whenever my parents asked if I wanted to bring one of my friends somewhere, I'd say, I want to bring both of them. I thought I was doing this great thing, not holding one of my friends over the other, but secretly, I thought one of them was kind of annoying. Hey, bonfire captain, you're supposed to be full of positivity. What are you doing? And he kind of was. He whined and wouldn't go along with us sometimes. I felt pretty bad about that, so I tried to be an even better friend to make up for it. Okay, that's nice. I thought if I could work even harder, I'd be able to make up for him. But actually, I wasn't helping him at all. You wouldn't have thought it. I wouldn't have thought it. But in the end, he was the one that got in deep, deep trouble. I probably could have stopped it if I'd told him to cut it out and man up instead of basically doing the opposite. Some friendships you can keep, the rest you gotta leave up to God. Oh, good! God will solve all your friendship woes. I guaranteed. Oh, Jesus. I like it how she's at a religious camp and she says Jesus. Like, ah, oh, Jesus! How long will this go on? There's no mercy in this world. You think we're going to the cabin tonight? I don't know. Probably not. I love it how, like, uh, Venus is the man, the boy, but he has the high-pitched voice that I'm voicing him as. But whatever! He seems like he's that kind of guy. He's very shy and timid, right? So he would have that kind of voice. It's great. I like it. I'm, I'm good at picking voices, I swear! <laughs> I swear to God. A good one, Jupiter, but there is no mercy in this world. It's our last week of camp, and they haven't sent us there yet. And that loser has it in for us so bad. Maybe we won't have to go. I'm feeling optimistic this time. 
Why? Yeah, why? Uh, because... No, seriously, why? Why would you ever think that? Hey there, Group West! I feel like I'm meeting the devil to- or feel like meeting the devil tonight? What kind of camp is this? This is like- this isn't a religious camp, this is like some satanic camp, isn't it? What do you mean, feel like meeting the devil? Damn it! Oh no! Told you. Don't worry, guys. I hear hardly anyone ever dies. What do you mean anyone ever dies? What are you guys talking about? This isn't religious, this isn't Christian camp! Holy shit! What do you mean no one dies? <laughs> like, freaking. What is going on? <sighs> I want to know more. He was pretty mad, huh? He's just an upset puppy. He'd have been less mad if he hadn't been texting the whole time he was yelling at us. Uh, the captain will live. I thought he was gonna knock it out of your hand for a minute. <laughs> God, I wish he would have. Hey, Venus, y you got it? Venus? Venus! What? Don't zone out, do you want to die? Sorry, I, I, I thought I saw something. This diode shattered, can you pass me a new one? Jupiter climbs up the pole to pass a new crystal to Venus. Neptune keeps watch, but actually she's mad because fixing the sirens is stupid and menial, and there's no reason they should have to do it. Neptune refuses to participate unless we're cutting corners. Here, Venus. Oh no. What? Oh, look who it is. Hey, oh, it's Group South. Oh, those guys, they're the cool kids. Oh, they are the cool kids. Look at the hair of the one on the left. The backwards cap with a tucked in... Whoa, he's got shorts and a tucked in shirt. That's okay. Yay. Hey. 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 Group South doesn't really look the same, but... We can't remember their names or tell the difference between them. <laughs> Which is super mean of us. No wonder they hate our guts. You guys got the lake sirens. We got the forest sirens. You guys got the lake sirens. You get check your own sirens. We got it! Uh, the bonfire captain told us these ones. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah, why are you lying to our faces? Do we look completely stupid, baka shit faces? Yeah. That's what he said. Venus must have heard wrong. That's what he said. He said Venus would screw it up again. That's- Venus sucks and should go home. Stop it, Group South! Don't be mean for the sake of being mean. We'll kick your ass! Group South does everything perfectly and is the fucking worst. The best kids in a camp for bad kids are absolutely certain to be the fucking worst. What is this shit? I gotta pick between people. I forget what the symbols are. I think this is Neptune. That's Jupiter, right? So Venus... Venus and, uh, shit. Who should I pick? Jupiter. Jupiter, sure. Come on, let's go. Okay. Say, where are you going? Stay, the bonfire captain said. Stay. Come on, guys. Why are you all such idiots? Why do you think we're going to be as stupid as you are and believe the stupid things you are saying? Why are you unable to follow basic instructions or hear things that people say? Group South turns around. Hey, Neptune. Hey, Neptune. Hey, Neptune. You are exactly as ugly as each other. It's scarily accurate. How long did you have to practice to coordinate that? I am truly in awe that it's possible for you all to have done this every single day for a month. I was so sure one day you were going to slip up and one of you would be accidentally identifiable, but consider me defeated. As expected of our top group this year, though. I thought that I was underestimating, but I am so deeply ashamed of myself for doubting you for even... Neptune dies out by the time we reach the next siren. Uh, she'll be okay. Yeah. Okay, so we just left her? Why'd you guys leave her? Maybe we should go check, though? It's fine. We get to the siren and we do the thing. Jupiter pushes up Venus and he climbs up to get the switch at the top. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. I'm really sorry. I, I know, I know. I really don't like them. They're kind of fuckers. <laughs> They're very popular, though. Y you think so? Man, I don't like them. Does, does anyone really like them? No, not really. Not even the captain likes them. They like you, though, don't they? I guess. I don't know. Actually, I don't think they do. Sometimes they're a little bit funny. But I don't actually like their humor too much. Sounds weird, but I kind of hang out with them so they'll leave me alone? Maybe that doesn't make sense. 
No, it kind of doesn't. Haha, <laughs> jeez. I kind of knew you'd say that. You know how sometimes kids bully each other because they don't know how to say they like someone? Y yeah a little. I've always thought that maybe they also had to hate you a little to do that, though. <laughs> See? You get it. Uh, <laughs> but I wish they'd leave me alone. I guess I meant more like, that sucks. And, and I wish we didn't have to, or I could talk to them and they wouldn't hate me. Venus just begs for acceptance. Well, maybe one day. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it's, it's really not working out for me either. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> well, well, it does a little. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, 8 p.m., here we go. I think this visual novel is just going to take place over the course of one night. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious at this point. Anyways, the road there is through the woods, but not far. We just follow the sirens to where they're covered in vines, and their lights don't work so well anymore. Hmm. Um. It's fine. It's fine. We still can't quite believe it's a house humans are supposed to spend a night in. It has electricity unbelievably and also illegally because it could likely burn it down and kill everyone. Well, that's scary. Is that foreshadowing? I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Well, what is it? I'm trying to think of something positive to say, but, uh, I can't. It's a work of actual art. I'm truly impressed. Oh my god, your sarcasm is just... It's permeating through everything here. <laughs> in all kinds of ways. Seriously, I'm in awe. No ordinary idiot built this cabin. An ordinary idiot would have given up long before this. It takes a truly extraordinary idiot to keep at something he has no idea how to do. Jeez! You are like the most negative person in the goddamn world. I pray we never have to meet him. Hmm, that's foreshadowing too. Maybe the devil made this cabin, huh? What? I was just thinking. It's like guaranteed the captain built it, right? If you tell a joke with a face that straight, someone impressionable like Venus is gonna believe you and be terrified for the rest of their life. I'm totally serious. Can't you imagine how proud the captain would be of himself? He'd never think he was doing a single thing wrong, right? There's like half a dozen horrifying shacks here. You must have had so much fun. God, hold me please. You've chilled me to the depths of my soul. <laughs> I was a, wow, I'm really good at acting. That laugh was really sincere. Jupiter snaps her hair tie against her waist. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the lock. Uh, is it broken? I don't, I don't hear any static. It really is broken. That's so dangerous. No one would leave it unlocked like that, would they? I don't even get where we are. If there's static, there's crystals, and I... What is... This is so surreal. What is going on? No, they wouldn't. They could have broken it and not told anyone. That'd just be like Group East. Uh, I think Group South was here last. It, it, I always call this in every horror game I play. I'm like, is it purgatory? But I'm just, I'm just gonna throw it out there. Maybe it is. Okay, just maybe. Or them, or anyone. They're all jerks who'd rather let the next group take the fall than fix it. So what does it matter which one it was? The crystal and whiskers. What the crystal and whisker look fine. It looks like someone tried to tape it together, but it must have come loose. The crystal and whisker. What the? What are these? I the crystal and whisker. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. It's and their names too: Venus, Neptune, and Jupiter. I should I be getting it? I don't know. It could have been already like this, but this kind of charm doesn't break that easily. I don't think. You just need to make sure the wire is securely touching the Galena. Galena. Jupiter relaxes slightly. She is more worried about the devil than any of us, but all of us are worried the devil. Are we in hell? Though not that worried. Humans are much more likely to kill you than the devil is, statistically. Are they angels? Are they gods? I don't know. And who should I pick now? Should I pick, uh, God? I <sighs> Okay, that's Venus plus Jupiter. This one is Jupiter plus Neptune. I don't know. Let's try Neptune and Jupiter this time. I guess I'll come. Venus, plug my phone in. Oh, cool. I mean, if you're that insistent, I don't want to look like a jerk by saying no. You are being a jerk! Haha, <laughs> rad. Are you good, Venus? Yeah, I'll unpack. Holler if you need anything. So I just, okay. So us two, we're gonna be alone then? It's gonna be Jupiter and Neptune? 
Place looks like it was a greenhouse once, but at some point it was filled with furniture. Like someone tried to live here and gave up or died because it was a fucking greenhouse. There is a bed that was probably very nice, but now it is growing poppies, and blue mushrooms are growing out of a lampshade by the nightstand. So we suppose the shack is now a greenhouse again. That's just mold and fungus. Neptune searches a beautiful enormous dresser nurturing an ivy with white bell-shaped flowers while Jupiter brushes leaves away to open the doors of a tasteful kitchen cabinet. <laughs> there is a new kind of lily in each shelf. This place is honestly the weirdest. Really? Here, come look. Oh, wow. I'm revising my opinion. Maybe the captain is a true genius. Do you think he did this? I hope not, then I'd have to like him. Ha! <laughs> oh, here. You should see this one. The wood is warped or rotting, which we knew before she put her weight on it, but didn't know well enough because the door and then half the cabinet and then the whole cabinet slough away. We pull each other out of the way. The collapse of the cabinet sounds like the wet wood yawning and screaming for a full minute. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine, I was just... For a moment, it was the funniest thing in the entire world. I mean, of course, right? She's crying? I just walk in here and without even trying, instantly cause the biggest possible disaster to happen. It was so pretty too. And now it's just impossible to put back together ever. Maybe I'm a genius at getting things wrong too. <laughs> it is absolutely gone forever, Jupiter. I, I know, but, but I should have. Jupiter, I promise on a stack of Bibles, it's not your fault and I will slap your face if you say it was. I will punch you in the face for every word you say. Okay, so Neptune, deep down, she's sarcastic, but she is very kind and caring. We've learned that much. I am so for real. Ha! Huh. Thank you. I'm trying to piece all this together, this world, the characters, the relationships. It's just, it's like a lot to take in because it's coming at us so fast. And it's so surreal. Jeez. I wasn't really going to, I promise. Neptune takes her hands off Jupiter's shoulders. We look around. Jupiter snaps her hairband against her wrist. But for a moment after it feels like we are holding each other, we can feel the hands like they're right there in the air. Good. I mean, like, aren't you doing fine? Aren't you trying harder than literally everyone else here? You're so chill about everyone's bullshit. It makes me so mad and then you won't extend even the slightest of that chill to yourself. It makes me even so madder. Can't you just be a little less good? I promise. I promise to try at least. Well, sort of. God. Okay. Well, we're learning a lot about the characters. It's great. I still don't know where the hell we are. What kind of camp we're at. Where we hu They're not human. We're supposed to sleep in shifts, but no one actually told us how we're supposed to do that. Who can fall asleep in an instant and wake up in an instant on demand? Not us. Jupiter is bad at waking up, and Venus is bad at falling asleep, and Neptune is fantastic at both on no schedule but her own. One way or the other, sleeping sounds like too much work, so we're not going to do it. If we had one more, we could play Uchri. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is there anything fun to play with three people? No. There's lots of things, maybe? Uh, let's not, though. I miss Uchri. <laughs> Ukra. Ukra. I'll call it Ukra from now on. Surely there has to be something better we can do with our lives. Um, you're all white. Maybe they're dead. Maybe they're ghosts. I, d I don't know. I'm very upset at you both. Um, what are the things normal kids are supposed to do in this kind of situation? Like, uh, truth or dare or something? <laughs> That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. Yeah, if the devil's gonna come kill us, it's a bad idea. That's a great idea. Neptune, do you just hate Venus or something? <laughs> I guess it's an okay idea. Well, it's not terrible. Great, everyone agrees it was a wonderful idea. Have no idea what's going on! <laughs> uh, Neptune, you go first. Why? Because seniority. I'm the oldest, though. Then, because for some other reason. Fine. Hear that music? So, how do you play Truth or Dare? It's pretty obvious. Oh my god, are you for real? What's up with this music all of a sudden, too? You alternate Truth or Dare and you go around in a circle and whoever... I need to save you two from yourselves. <laughs> oh, that, that sounded fine to me. No. <laughs> Everyone shut up and listen to me. If I go first, like you just said, I ask you Truth or Dare and then you pick and then I think of something horrible. 
Okay? I cannot believe either of you. Oh, wait then. It's too late. You already said I could go first. Own it. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, who do I want to pick? Venus and Neptune or Neptune and... Venus looks like... I No, I don't think... I, I think Venus is like very scared. I don't think Venus should be paired up with Neptune. Thinking logically about this, we're going to go Jupiter and Neptune. Yeah, Jupiter and Neptune, okay? Fine, you then. Truth. Who do you like? Um... I... You didn't hold back at all. There's no mercy in truth or dare, Jupiter. Uh, well, I don't really... I absolutely will know if you're lying. Don't dare. Oh, okay. I will know. Jeez, stop looking at me like that. Your eyes are super creepy. Jupiter snaps her hair tie against her wrist. Well, then you already know. Just kidding. That's a dumb question. Oh, that's fine. It'd be so boring anyway. It's not like I can actually imagine you fawning over some dude. Ah, uh, <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying... So I wonder if, like, Venus loves Jupiter and Neptune loves Jupiter or something, and I, it's like a love triangle? I don't know. You just aren't the sort of person who chase after someone. Like, you wouldn't let them think they were worth that kind of effort if they didn't deserve it, or, or let them think they were better than you if they weren't. And who is, anyway? No one's that cool. <laughs> thanks. I think that was a compliment. Though probably no one is ever going to want to date me. Do you want anyone to date you? Is that your truth or dare question? <laughs> Damn it, you're too sharp. Neptune, you're the sort of person who'd wish for infinite wishes. First thing, just in case it worked, right? Hey, whose turn is it, huh? Ah, But I wouldn't have had an interesting answer either. I would have just said I'd only want to date someone if someone wanted to date me. You're doing it again. What? You're... <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. Never mind, you win. Venus, you should pay attention. This is how you get out of playing stupid games. Uh, okay. So, whose turn is it? Oh no, you don't. I told you that wasn't the question. You just went and answered it on your own. Ah, uh, fine, you got me. No excuses. Uh, I guess that's fair? Of course it's fair. If there's no answer, it doesn't count. I'm getting lost in their crazy logical loop that they're doing. It's weird. Okay then, here it is, ready? Totally. Truth, who does Venus have a crush on? You said that was a boring question, why? Um, wait, what, what if I get it wrong? <laughs> then you're in trouble. Still, not fair? I guess I need to get it right then. Hmm, oh, it's totally you. Um, not absolutely not illegal. Uh, why not? It's cute. He has good taste. Boo, no, awful, absolutely rejected. <laughs> you are not funny at all. Hey, that, that was kind of funny. Okay, truth or dare. That was an interesting little back and forth they had. 10 p.m. It always seems like the sun will never set until we look up and find it already has. The sirens buzz a little louder now. They always buzz louder at night. The devil is weak and humans are strong. And that is the way it has always been. Even a kid can kill the devil. All she has to do is try. I'm bored. We should make the rounds, maybe. <laughs> we should do something else. We should make the rounds. Or we could do something else? Come on, we have to. It might be nothing, but if we don't check, we'll get in trouble. Or die, you know. What is up with this dying thing? Why were you guys gonna die? The devil's gonna kill you, but the devil's weak? I just... I don't know. I haven't played anything like this. Jupiter pulls herself up by her radio. It's long and thin and delicate, but then there's that awful wait at the end. Let's all go. <laughs> Bring your radios. And leave everything else? <laughs> yeah, why not? It's not like anything's going to steal it, anyone. What if he comes by when we're gone? <laughs> hmm, that's true. Uh, who cares? The captain, a lot probably. Ugh. I know. But it's not good for one of us to be alone. That's why there shouldn't be three of us in the first place. This is such a joke. 
It makes sense for two people to go out and one to stay here. Oh, uh, yeah, fine. Gotta make a choice then. Yeah, we should do something else actually. Truth or dare again? Oh, come on. After all that, you already convinced me. The sirens are louder tonight. I can definitely hear something. No, forget it. I, I don't want to. Let's just not. He's never gonna know. And tonight's just gonna turn out to be another night where nothing happens, right? I don't want to. Let's just stay here. That's what I was saying. What if the captain comes and checks on us? Nah, uh, he's going home with his girlfriend or wherever she is tonight. Irresponsible. Gross. Whatever, it's so him. He's not gonna bother us, and even if he did, we could say we were totally just about to, or we already did, and how's he going to know? Ah, cool, good. That's a bad idea, guys! I think something bad's gonna happen, otherwise we wouldn't have a visual novel now, would we? Jupiter sits down and gently leans her radio against the wall. It's an easy and correct choice to make. It would be- it would have been nice to go together, but we can't. We should do the irresponsible thing and stay in the sleeping bags and piles of clothes until we're happy. Ah, here comes the sirens. Oh no, wow, they're so loud! God, why won't he shut up? But God has spoken on that unmistakable frequency! Two of us have to go, one has to stay. Oh God! One has to stay here? This is... I don't know what's going on! It seems like a very important decision. Okay, we gotta go do something outside. I'm gonna leave Venus behind because I think Jupiter and Neptune are the strongest of the bunch. Let's go out. Jupiter and Neptune. Okay, I'll stay. Are you sure? Yeah, are you really sure? Staying in one place is pretty hard, but I think I'll manage. What? Oh wait, it's a joke. Oh uh, well, now I feel a bit less confident, but... I know we can't light candles or burn incense without the house catching fire, but I, I can wrap my radio around the door. And there's no other way in. Okay, if you're sure. Then let's go. We're not even going to catch the devil anyway, so let's just get it over with. Yeah, they're gonna go out to catch the devil, so I, I stand by my decision to let them go out, because that sounds like pretty serious business. This song is crazy! We leave Venus wrapping his radio around the doorknob. Wah! <sighs> Sorry, I had a nose itching fit. It was crazy. He's good at knots, and he's good at switch boxes, and if he's good at anything else, he's never shown us. The woods are noisy with insects and frogs. Nothing ever shuts up around here. Nature doesn't care about humans or the devil, but we sometimes think they take his side over ours if they got the choice. The world probably resents being nothing more than God's gift to us. Venus is probably fine. Nah, he's totally going to die. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Both of you sure have the element of surprise when it comes to telling jokes. Okay, it's just a joke. Good, that's... But seriously, it's... How is that a funny joke? He's gonna die, but the devil's gonna come or should be joking about that or what? <laughs> Are you seriously worried about him? Uh, maybe a little. It's weird. He's weird. Not in a bad way, necessarily. But may maybe in a bad way, possibly. Sometimes I don't even know what he is. Do you, do you think he notices how much of a jerk he is some- What do you mean a jerk? He's- He's so polite! I wish. He'll be so great if he learns in- If he leans into it on purpose. He'll be just a bitch if he stays like this. No boy is innocent. Or whatever he is. Well, we're all stuck together whatever we are. For the rest of the week. We could just go now. We could run away right now and never come back and never have to know what happened here. The highway isn't even a mile away. <laughs> just kidding, I know you'd never go for that. <laughs> you say just kidding after a lot of pretty huge things. But you just, you joked about Venus dying though, Jupiter. And you just, you're talking behind his back, what's going on? <laughs> Would you go for it? No, it's, it's stupid. Summer Scouts is almost over anyway. Some things you just bear with and then it's over. <laughs> that is really thoughtful. You don't bear anything... Quietly, though. No, why the hell should I? This place is ruining my entire summer and no one deserves to forget it. <laughs> God, yeah. This place really is the worst. I'm glad you don't give me a chance to say yes to any of your bad ideas. <laughs> Are you okay? My eyes feel so weird. My skin feels weird. I hate these bugs and this everything. Nothing could be grosser. Thanks, I'm fine. Whoa. Neptune, we... Ha, huh, never mind. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. Venus, I hope I hope you're doing okay. I'm a little worried. Maybe I, oh, Venus is fine. Great. 
You can barely hear the sirens anymore, guys. It's fine. Sit still. You're making me crazy. I'm still a little worried. It's always like this. The devil always shows up when you least expect it. You two are unbearable. All we literally have to do is chill. You can do that, right? Right? Um, I, I can try. Well, not, not really. God, I should have known. You are both impossible. I'm so glad I brought this. Oh my god. The bottle is half drunk and sticky and smells of paint thinner, sugar, and artificial flavoring. That is exactly what is along with some additives that will shave years off our lives. You guys are gonna sniff paint thinner and shit, what? <laughs> no need to praise me too much. You can thank me by drinking this till you're no longer anxious and annoying. That's... I'm... Illegal! That's fine, because either way I'm gonna drink it until I, I don't care how anxious and annoying either of you are. I'm mixing up the voices, I'm so bad, I'm so sorry. How did you even get that? I traded this fine bottle of pernicious rogue for 20 bucks and my three ugliest shades of nail polish. Aren't I generous? I haven't ever had alcohol before. Oh god, it hurts just to smell. Are you sure this is something people can drink? Impossible. The both of you, I swear to god. Sorry it's not an Italian red, my darling princesses. I also don't have martini glasses or umbrellas either. But I promise you, adults are lying assholes about alcohol and all this shit is samely awful. What you should be saying is, Neptune, thank you so much for getting some with the chaser already in it, you perfect darling. You're saving us the embarrassment of throwing up after our first shot, and you ask for nothing in return but us to shut the fuck up. You're an angel who doesn't deserve any of this. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, thank you. Neptune, thank you so much for... Don't get smart with me. I only have two shot glasses, so who's going with me? Um, shit. I don't know. Let's... Oh, God, I... God. Okay, Jupiter, you're gonna take one for the team. Venus should not be drinking. Jupiter, you're taking one for the team. Here we go. Jupiter, you're gonna drink, right? Uh... Please don't tell me you're not. I guess. Peer pressure. You're not cool if you don't drink. Oh, that's wrong! That's wrong! Oh, I am falling for this. Look at me. I'm an after-school special. You're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Who knows what will happen? Okay, okay. Good. Cheers? <laughs> Your face right now. It's not. Ugh. It's just so sweet. It'd be easier straight. Wait. This isn't your first time drinking? My dad sometimes gives me a little. My mom too on Sundays. Well, I made the right choice then, Jupiter. I'm glad you're drinking because you're used to it. Yes. They're really strict though. They, they want me to like appreciate it and do not do exactly what we're doing and drink horrible shit for the sake of getting drunk. Well, it's too late now. You're corrupted forever and the only choice is to drink until you are drunk and hungover so you can learn an important lesson about life and peer pressure and whatever. <laughs> okay, I'll drink to that. Bottoms up, bitch. Uh, yep, still bad. How do you stand it? You're barely making a face. It's infuriating. Another, please. I can't stand it. It's awful. It's unimaginable. Please show me mercy. Another. Are you sure? Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna read. Fuck you. Take this shot. Uh-oh. Look, I hate this. What is this flavor? Fruit punch or is it green apple? Maybe watermelon? I can't believe you're not even tipsy. Your father is incredible. He is- is he Vin Diesel? <laughs> is he Vin Diesel? Is he Arnold Schwarzenegger? Is he Ernest Hemingway? Are you the love child of Vin Diesel and Ernest Hemingway? <laughs> well, he doesn't care for women or long sentences if that counts. <laughs> That's fucking funny. So you have read a book. I mean, it's not because he's mean or anything, he just doesn't like women. Oh, oh, well, wait, why would he send you here? Sometimes we just do stuff so mom will chill. Uh, your dad is cool. Yeah, he really is. Another? Okay. My dad said that humans may have made alcohol, but the devil gave them the idea. Your dad has never been more right about anything. The worse it tastes, the more evil it makes you. And every kind has a sound sort of evil in it. I think alcohol is incredible like that. It's all the same. No, 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 it's so different. It's so different. Like, red wine makes you lascivious. 
I, lastivus, I, I, lastivus, yeah, I, I'm totally a genius, I said that right. But also kind of weepy, and beer makes you lazy but prepared to yell. Oh yeah? Then what does this make you feel? Um, I feel like I want to break a window? Um, you're right, fuck! I'm gonna throw up on everyone, what?! Uh, you are not sober. <laughs> Neither are you, miss. It's written all over your smug, lazy face. I can tell, <laughs> Oh. No, it's true, this is a tragedy. How my reputation is number one untouchable tomboy prude ever recover? Tomboy, I said that right. God, don't complain. I got most touchable, and it's not even true. I'm not half as bad as those sluts in Group Southeast. Leave me alone, please. People think you're cool, you know. They are wrong and also jerks. Camp will be over soon anyway. Assholes, fuck him. Fuck him, Jupiter. <laughs> yeah. Let's do another. <laughs> Fine. Ugh. <laughs> you shouldn't drink so fast. Oh, no, it's, it's not that. Are you okay? Oh, God, I itch. Neptune? It's okay. Hi. I stop it. Damn it, it's not not here. Come, let's go to the bathroom. Don't throw up here. I'm fine. Don't. <laughs> Neptune! Don't look. Are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Seriously, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I just feel a little sick. I can do one more. <laughs> one more. Disgusting forever. 12 a.m. Twelve a.m. I'm just gonna save my game. Just gonna save it right here. I have no idea what is going on in this camp with the devil and these these kids, these teenagers are here at like Christian camp, but they're not. They're talking about humans as if they aren't humans, and they're talking about the devil like the devil appearing as a normal occurrence. I have no idea what's going on. But it's really interesting. It's interesting because I don't know what's going on. This is unlike anything I've ever experienced. Like I said, it's super surreal. I have no idea what's going on, but it's fantastic for it because it's really like, it really makes you want to find out what's going to happen next. It's crazy. And there's these choices we're making. They're obviously going to have some impact on the character relationships. Oh God. I'm really into this and I hope you are too. So in the next episode, I'm going to try to finish it up because I hear someone said in a review of the game when I was looking at it on Steam, that's not very long. It's like an hour and some change and we played a lot. So I'm going to try to finish it in the next episode, see what happens. There's multiple endings and maybe I'll try to get um, some of those multiple endings or that'll be in the third video. I have no idea, but I hope you're looking forward to it. Remember to leave a like down below. It helps me out immensely. And as always, guys, peace.